some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Rhode Island, or more specifically, the Kent County Courthouse, as Sean Paul Reyes attempts to film once again inside of another courthouse, but gets rejected once again. Man, will this idiot never learn his lesson? I mean, in many courthouses, it's not exactly allowed, especially in Rhode Island. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Order here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the Kent County Courthouse here in Warwick, Rhode Island. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Oh, come on now. Let's be real about this. We are all friends, aren't we? We're all, we all know what you're about. It's not about transparency with the government at this point. You know that. It's about everybody else kissing your ass because let's face it you grew up as the uh lonely kid the kid that nobody wanted to be around because of your attitude issues and now you want people to kiss your ass because you didn't adjust properly to how the world really works am i right let's get into it all right guys so we're just getting inside the facility here we just passed through the metal detector over there. So right here, right below our friendly reminder, we have a quote, the civilizing function of a judge has been defined as the removal of a sense of injustice. Frank Johnson, judge, United States Court of Appeals, 5th and 11th Circuit. I agree, but that's not the case. Judges don't allow for transparency. A lot of them don't. Injustice is violating we the people's right of government transparency, our First Amendment right. I've been watching you for a long time now, and I have yet to see you demonstrate any instance of your First Amendment rights being violated in any form. You say you want to expose tyranny and everything like that, but yet all I ever see is you filming people who are doing their jobs. I don't see any tyranny at all. All I see is a petulant man-child acting like a spoiled little brat because he can't get his way every time he walks into a building. That's all I ever see out of your videos. So why don't you grow up and uh, join the carnival and become a carnival barker? Because you're good at using your voice at this point, so you might as well use it to make money for somebody. The freedom of press. That's injustice. And in many courthouses across the country, that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Judges, orders, and the court law enforcement officers will violate our rights. It's happened here in Rhode Island before. Let's hope it doesn't happen here today. Criminal arraignments, pretrial, civil evictions, and debt collections. We are on the third floor. Looks like each floor has its own quote. It is the spirit and not the form of the law what keeps justice alive. End quote. Earl Warren, Chief Justice, United States Supreme Court. Again, these quotes that we're reading here sound really good. But they need to be implemented. Talk about keeping justice alive. To keep justice alive, we need to keep transparency alive. There is a fine line between what you consider to be transparency and reality. The reality is that the, there is a good reason why recording equipment is not exactly freely used within 
courthouses because, number one, you do have jurors walking around that don't need to be filmed because they might be in the middle of a trial where somebody who can figure out who they are, know who know who they are, and uh, go ahead and intimidate them. Number two, um, a really good reason is <laughs> attorney-client privilege. Because there are often attorneys and clients exchanging information in those uh, areas in, outside the courtroom that don't need to be picked up on any recording device. And that information might end up in the wrong hands of a person who intends to use it for nefarious purposes and gain the advantage over somebody who they're trying to put into the ground, metaphorically speaking, of course. So why should we bow down to what you consider transparency if what we've been doing for so long has worked out for so many damn years? Just because you feel like you got screwed over by the justice system doesn't mean that we should bow down to your will, bow down to your vision. It's not all about your issues. It's about the society as a whole. Accountability. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, can I get your name and badge number, please? Uh, Deputy Alexander, badge number 43. 43, Deputy Alexander. Nice to meet you. My name is Sean. Nice to meet you, sir. Um, I don't need any help at the moment, Deputy. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank though. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. So over here to the right, we have family court. So far, so good. They are honoring their oath to uphold the United States Constitution, which is a lot better so far, again, than... The other courthouse we visited in Rhode Island. What's going on? Are you filming in the courthouse? Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Are you filming in the courthouse? I thought I saw you on camera filming. Did you know? You thought you saw me. You yeah. thought you saw me on your camera filming? Yeah. Ironic. Um, can I get your name and badge yeah. number, please? Johnston Eight. I'm with the Capitol Police. How are you? Johnston with the yeah, Capitol like Police. The town. Like the Johnston. Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your name and badge number, sir? Sixty-five. And your name? Your name is 65? Okay. Um, just not allowed to film in the courthouse. Why would that be? That's the what the Supreme Court said as, here as a policy in the building. In all courthouses, they don't want filming without there's prior a, approval. The, there's a policy? Approval from who? From Superior Court. Supreme Court. From Supreme Court? Is that like an, a law? It's not a law. It's just a policy. Just a policy? Mm -hmm. Well, you're a law enforcement officer, right? Right. Yeah, I do. I, um, Policies and laws, I uphold. You uphold policies? And laws, of course. Why would you uphold policies? The policy of the building. This is a public building, right? Right, but you just can't film in the building. Oh my goodness, Sean. I don't know how many times you've been through this. How many courthouses you've been kicked out of. And you still don't know what a limited public forum is non or non-public forum is. I mean, you have got to be one of the dumbest people on the planet or just most thick-headed or whatever. I mean, a courthouse is a non-public forum. And here is a, a policy from the Supreme Court of that state saying that you can't film in there. I'm sure it's for good reasons as I went through ad nauseum earlier in the video, but I'm sure you're never going to watch this video, but still you need to grow a brain and figure out that you are not going to change anything because you are so butthurt about what happened to you when you were in prison many years ago. So get over it and go somewhere else and cry in a, in a corner, you little punk. I 100% can film and I'm exercising... I'm exercising a First Amendment right, right here. But not in this moment. Not but in, not but in what law is that? I don't understand what law. Do you have a supervisor I could speak to? I don't have one handy. You don't have, there's no supervisor in this building? Not, not for Capitol Police, no. But I don't understand. I'm allowed to be in this building, right? Sure, sure. You're just saying because of a policy I can't record? You can't record, that's correct. Do you have this policy? I don't have a policy with me, no. So I'd have to take your word for it? Sure. 
I have to take you, you, so let me just make it clear. You, you enforce policies as a law enforcement officer. Policies and laws. And laws. I, yeah. But you enforce policies as a law enforcement officer. Sure. You're, enforcing, you're enforcing a policy yes. that violates my constitutional rights to record and to gather information. I'm an independent journalist. I don't know if I told you my name is Sean. I know I, I explained it to the other deputy here, to the deputy here that's with right. the sheriff's department. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. We all know better. You're not an independent journalist. You are a troublemaker who goes to places like this to deliberately stir up the pot and see what you can get on film and serve that up to your gullible audiences who you got believing that you're a freedom fighter for some cause that, well, is complete BS to begin with. Um, yeah, so... That policy is in violation of the United States Constitution and the First Amendment. So, you're more than welcome to take it up with the judge. Yeah, Sean, if you actually believe any of this stuff that it's against the First Amendment, why don't you actually do something constructive and take it all the way up to the Supreme Court in the proper way instead of making all these damn videos and having the same circular arguments that go absolutely nowhere? I mean, that would be more productive and it would make you look a lot smarter if you did that instead of the complete buffoon of a bird brain that you are right now. But I don't even know what what, what would I take up. I don't know. You I don't know. complaint that you want to film in the courthouse. But what, you're not, there's no signs posted, no orders no posted. posted. As soon as you came in the building. There's no orders posted. Those are just printed out on a computer. Right. Yeah. Okay, so. Anybody can print those out. Anyone can, but the Supreme Court printed them up and gave them to us. And we have to pull the if the Supreme Court didn't want people recording in courthouses, they would have made a judicial order, not a policy. Oh my goodness, Sean, are you really that damn stupid? If a judge gave them the order to put up those signs, then I'm sure that it must be written down somewhere as an order which makes it the official policy of that place. And a policy can be a law. It's just an alternative word for it, you bloody moron. Can I see the judicial order? You do not need to see it. We don't have to show it to you. But Why? It's from the Supreme but, Court, the state of Rhode Island has given the power to the head of the Rhode Island Supreme Court. The Rhode Island Supreme Court. The Rhode Island Supreme Court. And they have come out. There's no filming in the courthouse. In the courtrooms. No, courthouse. Courthouse. Without prior approval. Without prior approval. Prior approval. Prior approval. Prior approval. From but I'm, all I'm asking is to see this sort of order you're talking about. Well, gee, Sean, uh, do you like making yourself look like a complete moron? Because I guess it's your fetish. Because, well, I found this particular web page quite easily by typing in the right combination of letters on the uh, Google search machine and ended up finding it in fairly quick order, and it is a legitimate document. It is not from Wikipedia or anything like that. It comes directly from the Rhode Island Supreme Court. So... Why don't you try that instead of making yourself look like a complete ignoramus? It's, it's like any law. You can get arrested for disorderly conduct, correct? The officer doesn't have to show you the law, your disorderly conduct law, does he? Well, I'm not breaking any laws. I'm just saying, I'm, as an example. No, but that's, and I guess that's my, my exact point. Uh, would, that, would that be officers? That, my exact point is that I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not so, breaking any laws, but what will happen is that you will be held in contempt of court for violating the court order. And then we would have to arrest you, and you would have to go for How can I violate something I don't haven't even seen before? Sean, it's been proven over and over again that ignorance of the law is certainly no excuse. And you have no excuses at your age to be this damn stupid. You should at least look these things up before you keep getting yourself into this shit. But hey, if you want to live out the rest of your life looking like, like a complete F-tard, then why don't you just stop with the games and put a dunce cap on and sit in the corner for you the rest of your life because we all know that you are a one, so stop showing it all. A law is different than, a law is different than an order. I'm just trying to... I'm just telling you 
that there's no filming in the courthouse for the Supreme Court order. Okay. Well, you said it was policy at first. Now it's an order. Whatever. Okay. So I'm just. I cannot see this order. No. Why? Why? That's that's unreasonable. But why can't you? You're the one that's enforcing it. We're not required to show you the order. Okay. But I'm here to tell you that you can't record in the courthouse. So what happens if I don't if I don't stop recording in the courthouse? You get arrested for contempt of court. Arrested for contempt of court. That's correct. Okay, that's all I needed. You just earned yourself a, a federal lawsuit. Oh, oh, I'm sure they're so scared of a threat from somebody like you. I'm sure they must be trembling in their boots that Sean Paul Reyes is going to hit him up with some non-existent lawsuit about you guys violating his rights. Oh, oh, what a poor, pathetic, little, whiny, baby man-child we've got right here. So, why don't you let him go home where he can go home and change his diaper and go cry in his corner. So, you, you will arrest me if I don't stop, cease, if I don't leave the building? For contempt of court. You don't have to leave the building. You just have to stop filming. That's correct. You can stay in the building all you want as long as you're not filming. That doesn't even make any sense. Um, you can stay in the building. You just can't film in the building. And that's from Rhode Island Supreme Court. If I can see it, I can film it. What if I had a photographic memory? What if I was secretly recording? Is there a rule against secretly recording? You would never know. Well, first of all, Sean, you don't have a photographic memory. And second of all, quit deflecting attention away from the fact that you're not secretly trying to film anything at this point, that you're deliberately going out of your way to cause an issue right here to try to file a federal lawsuit against what you think are your rights being violated. That's the issue going on right here, not these imaginary issues that you are trying to impose on this argument as it is. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? But you would never know. Right, I would never know. Exactly, my point. Know, but it's still I could tell you that I'm not recording right now, and then what? You don't have a warrant to check my phone. I saw you on the cameras. You saw me holding up my phone, right? I did. Is that mean I'm recording? Are you recording right now? I don't want to answer any questions that might incriminate me. I have the right to remain silent. It's my Fifth Amendment right. So that's what I'm saying. I, I don't understand. I'm not breaking any law, sir. I'm not really trying to be difficult. I'm just trying to stand up for my rights. I'm trying to be polite with you. And, I, and like I said, if... I, I, no, and you are, sir. Uh, you are. I, I just don't want to incriminate myself. I never told you I was recording. And at the end of the day, I have a right to record if I was. Yeah, but not in this moment. No. All right, well, are you going to arrest me? No, are you recording? I don't want to answer any questions. I saw you recording on the camera. So I was watching you. I zoomed in on your camera, and you were filming this area. You saw the recording? I saw that what you were doing. So you saw me holding up my phone like I'm holding it up now. Right. So you're not recording me? I don't want to answer any questions, sir. I have a, I have a Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Okay, and carry on. If you're not recording, you go right ahead. That doesn't make any are sense, sir. That doesn't make any sense, sir. I'm just asking you politely, are you recording? Uh, but that doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make Yeah, because you have, you have no authority to check my phone, right? No, but I'm just asking you from one person to another, are you recording me? I don't, and I'm telling you, as a citizen who's exercising his rights peacefully, I don't want to answer any questions. I've already been, if you're watching me on camera, you've seen I've been everywhere in this building. Yeah, yeah you have. I've been every yeah. single place in this building. It's a nice building. Yeah, I was just admiring the architecture. Good. And there's cameras all over this building. Yeah, just don't film it. But you guys are, you, you, the government is filming us. Right. Why can't the people film the government and for transparency purposes? Because you're not filming for transparency, you're filming just to stir shit up, and that's the only reason. Because if you really wanted to go for transparency, you would force your way into those back rooms like a grown-ass man and go up to that judge and say... I want to know everything about what you're doing in here right now, and I demand that you show me all the shit you've got hidden in your closet. I want to see all the skeletons and all everything that it's in that's in there right now. I want to expose you. And then we'll see how fast you get arrested for doing that. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Why don't you go ahead and do that? I'm sure that'll be entertaining. Take it up with the government, but I'm just here to...
enforce this order, this policy, whatever you're you want to You're enforcing the policy, the order, but if there was an order that that said no people of color can come inside this building, would you enforce that one as well? Because it's a slippery slope. Tell me he didn't just say that. Oh, now you're just going apples to oranges because what you just described would actually be a civil rights violation. Unlike what you've been talking about, about the camera issue. I mean, let's see, let's compare these, uh, the fact that you can't film in a courthouse because of, uh, well, let's say attorney-client privilege and uh, filming uh, jurors by accident or letting out information into the public that might not be uh, prudent for a case, um, or uh, a lot, or disallowing uh, 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 African Americans in the courthouse because uh, it, because of reasons. Now that would be a civil rights violation right there, not the camera issue, you bloody moron. Because you're saying, hey, I'm just following orders, but. How? What? It's a slippery slope. It's the same thing that can happen. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not going to happen. So you wouldn't enforce that policy or that order. Listen, I'm not going to talk. You know, so you would. What if? What if? Okay, let's not go down this road. I'm not going to answer any foolish questions like that. That's not a foolish question, it's sir. A foolish question. It's not a foolish question, sir. It's 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 it's, it's well, pointing to a, a point. A question, not it's pointing to an it's pointing to a point that I'm trying to make, sir. Is that question. if you're just following orders, you're just a man following orders. That's what that's the that's the what you're trying to say here. And I'm saying, what orders would you follow? Not, what up ridiculous. to what level of it? That was just an example. I wasn't trying to. It was just an example. That's all. Ridiculous example. So that's. I'm gonna assume that you wouldn't, but you would enforce an order that violates my constitutional rights, just not my civil rights as far as my race or anything like that. Just my constitutional rights. You're willing to violate? You took an oath to uphold the United States Constitution when you took this job. All right. Well. I, do you have a copy of this order? I so you're saying I can't get a copy of the order. No, we're not required to provide you a copy of the order. You're more than welcome to look at it online. All right, well, I'm going to go about my day, and I'm going to go. Right, I'm going to be. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to walk around too. Well, I just want to let you know I've already seen the whole building. I'm going to be leaving. Oh, okay. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. You too. Ridiculous. Well, everybody, that's the end of the video. And I mean, come on now, Sean. You really need to work on all your uh, little arguments. I mean, you need to get them a bit more fine-tuned you actually need to uh, go seek out somebody and uh, yeah like i said get them fine-tuned because they're completely garbage well at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one